Hi you guys, it's Rowan Trudon with another video on Wiccan Ritual Tools and this video is dedicated to Cauldron, which is one of my favorite ritual tools. Um, it's one I don't get to use very often, but it's definitely really special to me. Um, it represents the goddess and also, um, you know, water and the womb and it's, it's built in with a lot of symbolism that I really like. But um, what's cool about the cauldron is that, you know, it definitely has a lot of that history. Cauldrons have been used in magic for so long and used in cooking as well. And I think there's definitely a magic to food. So um, typically cauldrons are, I'll show you mine. Uh, typically cauldrons have um, three legs like this. And um, they tend to be sort of wide at the center and then kind of a little bit narrower on the top. Um, they may or may not have a lid. Um, I kind of have a gigantic cauldron. It's made out of cast iron and it's like 10 pounds. Uh, this is a 3 4th size cauldron. Um, most people tend to have smaller cauldrons and um, I would too, except that I got this one as like, you know, an insanely good deal. So, oops. So, um, um, it's definitely cool to have like a larger cauldron, but there is nothing wrong with having a little one. And in a lot of ways it's more convenient as well, uh, because, you know, there's definitely been times that I'm carrying this like 10 pound cast iron cauldron in one of my bags at the airport and it's an awkward story <laughs> to be like, have them search your bag and they pull it up and they're like, what's this? And you have to explain it. Anyway. Um, Travel size is always good, but you know, having a larger one, of course, is nice too. Um, cauldrons are typically best made out of cast iron um, or any kind of really hard metal just to, you know, make sure that you can use it for all the purposes you need it for. Um, some people make brews in them, but it takes a long time, and seeing as we have stoves, most people use stoves these days, at least most Wiccans do. So, um, but it's possible to do. Uh, you can also keep water in it um, during rituals and uh, use it for scrying, like during the full moon or something like that. And uh, you can also use it to burn um, herb incenses outside, which I like to use it for. Um, but there's definitely a lot of um, you know water symbolism there, so try to find ways to use your cauldron in your rituals and, and to keep it present. Um, I think that it's a it's a tool that you know it's sort of cumbersome and sometimes people um, forget that it's there and forget to use it. But I don't know, it's one of my favorites. So that's all there is for uh, this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Blessed be.